Welcome to the healthiest. A hot cup of coffee can perk you up in the morning. A soothing cup of tea can help you relax after a stressful day. And the latest research about the health benefits of each might help you feel a little better about them, whichever beverage you drink. Let's discuss some facts about coffee and tea. You will be surprised to listen about their origins. Tea was first discovered by the Emperor of China in 2737 BC while he was boiling water under a tree. When leaves accidentally fell into the boiling water, he tasted it and was surprised by its goodness. Tea then became popular among scholars and priests in China and Japan, who drank tea to stay awake, study, and meditate. This is perhaps why the hot drink has always been associated with mindfulness, calm, spirituality, and solid health. Coffee, meanwhile, didn't seem to appear until much later, and is believed to have originated in the Ethiopian highlands, where legend says a goat herd named Kaldi noticed his goats became hyperactive after eating certain berries from a tree. Coffee then spread to monks at monasteries, where they drank the beverage to keep them alert while praying. From there, it began making its way across the Arabian Peninsula. Both coffee and tea remained Eastern beverages for a long time. Coffee didn't even arrive in Europe until the 17th century. I hope this information is an amazing increase in your knowledge. Well, we are going to discuss some benefits and side effects of tea and coffee. Tea is fantastic at hydrating the body and replenishing your fluid intake. While coffee can do the same, tea has the added benefit of generally being just pure H2O with that awesome tea flavor, meaning that when it's a scorching hot summer day, it's much more beneficial to sip down some tea, hot or cold, as it'll replace any fluids you've lost through sweating. It also means that it's fantastic for your skin and getting it hydrated quicker. There are a ton of antioxidants in tea, much more than you're likely to get in coffee. Antioxidants are fantastic for keeping your body ticking over and looking and feeling fantastic, hence why a lot of companies have jumped aboard the bandwagon of sticking antioxidants into products. Tea can help reduce stress. An advantage we can all use from time to time. While the physical cause behind this remains unknown or murky at best, it's a well-known fact that tea is used cross-culturally as a bonding tool as well as refreshment. Last but certainly not least, tea can help strengthen your immune system. While it probably won't help out a huge amount while you're battling about of intense flu, apart from the benefits of just drinking something and helping to flush the bug out of your system, drinking tea can really help set up and improve your immune system for next time. While coffee is better at stimulating muscle through activity and has been shown to slightly reduce appetite, tea still holds the edge if losing weight is your goal. Drinking green tea every day could end up leading to an inch off the waistline within two weeks. Green tea has compounds that help to shrink fat cells and activate muscles. To be completely honest, however, you're better off leaving the heavy cream and three packs of sugar out of your drinks, and stop worrying about whether coffee trumps tea or vice versa. Both drinks have vague cons and benefits, but are, for the most part, pretty decent for you. Too much sugar, on the other hand, is quite the villain, so enjoy your caffeine and remember to take your coffee breaks or meditative tea breaks every so often. Humans have been doing it for thousands of years. If you like this video then like, share and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Have a nice day.